everyone, it's Michelle here at Hesketh Emporium and today's quick update is regarding this part for the Bernina Nova 900. This is the bobbin winder. This is something if you have any old machines you will definitely come across. Now they don't all work the same obviously but the problem is always the same with these um, bobbin winders. They have a rubber ring which presses against the hand wheel and when it presses against the hand wheel it forces the bobbin winder to spin and when you release the hand wheel this jumps away from the hand wheel and then it allows you to sew normally. What happens is over time these are rubber grommets, rubber o-rings, uh, some places they're called rubber seals there's so many different names for them. Anyway, there is one of them and it's in a right state. So you can see that the impression, at some point it has been left engaged and it's left the impression of the wheel on this rubber ring. But quite frankly, it's useless because when I opened it up, it just snapped into pieces like that. They go very brittle. Finding them is really difficult. I've got a few that I've ordered in from uh, different places, called different things, and used for all sorts of machinery, O-rings, oil gaskets, whatever. And I'm trying to find one that will work with this. The difficulty you have with this little Bernina is that spindle is where it goes onto. And the size of that is you know that's what determines the center size of your ring that fits on there just like that the problem is that's not a very common size and then for it to be quite narrow as well and also the thickness of them so I'm going to try a few different ones and report back what works but what I wanted to show you today was none of that but the fact that when it comes off it's normally glued onto the spindle here onto this ring and it looks like it may be brass but the residue is still on there so I've been cleaning that off and literally I know it's not the best thing to use but it's absolutely tarred onto there and I'm scraping it off as best I can and then I'm going and cleaning it off with some um, I've got this stuff called green gunk remover and that works really well to clean off dirt but obviously this has got maybe a glue or something that held the o-ring in place so that won't work so what I'm going to do is I'm just gently scraping the black residue from the rubber off then I'm going to give it a clean and I can then reinstall and test some of the new ones that I've received and I'll show you those in a minute so that's what I'm doing at the moment so there's this little bit left to do and once that's done we'll be left with a nice clean base when I've done with that I'm going to clean it up make sure it's got no oil on it and I'm going to super glue that new ring onto there what happens then is because I've dismantled it obviously this post so this is the top this is the bit you see sticking out the top of your machine all right and it's really simple to take them out because it's a matter of taking out a couple of screws sorry it goes like this you take out a couple of screws I put them back into the body of the machine so I don't lose them then to make it easier for me to work with you remove this screw which holds this little finger post in place and you remove this screw here which holds this mechanism in place uh, backwards it goes like that and there's a little spring under there as well so that is the full mechanism once I've cleaned it up and put the ring back on I'll put all of that back together and I'll do a video of us reinstalling it but here is an example 
of what I've managed to find. Sadly, they're not thick enough. I thought three millimeters sounded big enough, but when I actually hold two of them together, well, let's do one first of all. You can see that the one is definitely narrower, thinner than the other one. So I'm gonna put two together, gonna glue them, because the rubber is actually really nice. That gives me the exact thickness almost of the old original rubber ring. And I think that's going to work well because that then will press up against the flywheel or the hand wheel um, inside the machine to make it run. And the big test, of course, is does it fit over this spindle here? And it does, which is really nice. So there you can see it's going to definitely work. Once I've got the two stuck together, they'll mount on there quite well. The only thing that I've got to worry about is the fact that these are square sided. So if you have a look at these rings, they've got a very sharp edge and the original one has a rounded edge. But I think it might still work because I've used something similar to this in the past and it did work. If not, I might chamfer these edges off. In the post, I've also got some other O-rings coming which are round. So they've got a rounded profile. They're not flat washer style um, rubber rings. And I'm going to try those as well. So just to give you an idea of what the process is, I'm going to also at the top here, this is something that is really common on these actually, is that the top of these is really dirty and full of muck. Now, it looks like rust. But if this is brass or something similar, it can't be. Because I would have seen verdigris or something. So perhaps something's been messed in here. I have no idea. Maybe it does rust. I Look, I could take the split pin off, take this off and clean it just as easily. But I don't fancy doing that right now. I will just keep scraping this off and then I'll clean it up properly. And when I've found the correct size rings, I will do a follow-up video showing you that being installed and this whole mechanism going back into your machine. So this is, this is more or less part one, just explaining how it works and what it is that you need for repairing the bobbin winder. If your bobbin winder is really noisy or it's screeching, the chances are the rubber has perished and is very old. If it's not working at all, it's probably broken off. The bits might have fallen into, inside your machine and that's important that you take the lid off and tip your machine over and get all of those pieces out as well. Um, what else? What else? And of course, you want to clean this up. I, yeah, I would like to sell this machine and I don't want to sell it to somebody unless it's in absolutely peak condition. So there you go. That's what we're going to do. When I see you back next time, we'll be ready to install the rubber rings and to put it back in the machine. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.